Hi everybody, welcome to this uh, second tutorial on how to create custom complications. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a very simple horizontal bar uh, complication based on a ranged complication. Uh, so the end result is going to look something like this. Um, it's very simple, it's just a bar with an icon and some text. And uh, as always with uh, the custom complications you can assign different data providers to it making the look slightly different. So in some cases you will have a title, some cases you won't. And in some cases you will have an, an icon and in some cases you won't. So let's jump in. I'm going to create a new complication. So we go back. Um, note that I'm doing this from the cloud library, but you can also do this from the regular watch part library. So we're going to create a new complication, then choose range value and give it a name. Uh, example horizontal bar okay so uh, when you create a custom complication you will always have some default layers layers already available these are the optional or required uh, fields in your complications so for now I'm just going to hide them and I'm going to add them later let's start with changing the grid a bit I'm going to go to 69 and 69 to have a little higher density and then uh, we're going to start off making a line so we start with the line and then we place it in a horizontal way so something like this and here make sure that it's in the middle As you can see now, you can see in the top what the x value is. So 286. So they are both at 286 and centered. So now this line is going to be the background of the uh, horizontal bar. So we're going to give it a uh, bigger stroke. Something like uh, this thirteen, and then I'm going to change the stroke caps to round and the joints to round as well. And I'm gonna lower the opacity a bit like this. So, and I'm going to copy this shape, add a copy to make the actual bar. Um, let's change the color of the stroke to a nice blue. Put the opacity back to one. And now I'm going to reduce the size of the stroke of the inner line to something like this. So this is going to be our actual bar. Now to make it more clear, I'm going to make the background a bit darker. It's easier to design. Maybe even more. Okay, now we have this uh, background. And we have the actual bar and the bar uh, we want to scale uh, based on the value of the complication. So we want to scale it from the left position, so from this anchor point. And to do this we first have to change the rotation center of this shape. And you can do this by selecting the rotation tool and then changing this middle point and putting it all the way here at the most left point. And now we can add automation to this layer. So we press the automate button. We want to scale in the x direction. And we want to scale it with the normalized value. So this is a value between 0 and 1. And if we put it there, you can see that the scale works already. So we currently have our test data provider, which just supplies a value which sl uh, slowly increases, which makes it easy to test your complication and as you see you can it works already quite well 
So maybe we change the background <coughs> to a bit lighter color. Like this, it looks a bit better. So now the biggest part of our complication is already done. And now we want to add the optional fields that were given to us. So the short text, um, this is going to be a value depending on your data provider. So for instance, in the case of watch battery, it's going to be the actual percentage. percentage. So let's add it to the end. Let's switch back to the scale. Make this a bit smaller and position it here at the end of our complication. Um, a bit smaller even. And then we're going to align it at the end. And then I'm going to make it smaller but change, keep the same bound. So I'm going to switch to fit max bounded. That means that it will always stay within the bounds but it won't make your font size any bigger than the number that you add here. So something like this. Align it to the bottom and then we're going to move this layer to be somewhere over here nice at the end maybe choose a different font i used rubik regular and there you have your uh, short text and now we can look at the different providers and see what this does so you can see it looks already a lot better we have our short text at the end if if it's supplied by your uh, data provider um, now we're going to look into the title so let's pick one which has a title we're going to show it there it is so an easy way to do this is to just copy the styles we had we uh, created for the last uh, let, um, so no, i'm doing it wrong go back so we select a short title and we're going to change the style to this and now we're going to I'm going to make this shape a little bit smaller <coughs> so we can put it over here now this one we want to align on the other side so alignment like this and then move it with the move tool to the end and to the same at the same height as the other one so now you can see we have these two titles and the uh, value so for instance if you choose the watch battery it already looks a lot better so we have the title and we have the value and we have our bar which shows the percentage now there's one more thing we have also we also have an icon with the range value so it would be nice to show this as well so we have shown the icon layer and now choose a provider which has an icon. So for instance, this one. And now we have to place this in a good position. I'm going to make it smaller. Maybe even one more smaller. Like this. And then move it. Take the move tool. And put it to the front. And then change tint of this icon so we're going to change it to the same blue and then it looks a lot more in line with the rest of our custom complication now if we look at all of our data providers we can see that this custom complication now works well with all of the different types available and um, no, that kind of already finishes our custom complication we can change the data provider and then it still works it looks nice and you can directly apply this one to your watch face. <clears throat> no, thanks everybody for listening. Uh, I hope it's understandable. If there are any questions, just feel free to contact us or uh, send us an email.